we can use CAD output to very quickly generate CAD objects of the line work and surface information of our models and surfaces. To run CAD output, we can find the command sitting on the plan production panel on the roads tab. You can see it's just found up here. If you are using V24 onwards, you can access this also via Toolspace, and that button is found just here, and we can click on CAD output. So in this first example, we're going to be generating some 2D objects of the line work and of the contours, and both of these are displayed. So we're going to be going currently displayed 2D polylines of our contours and currently displayed polylines. Uh, of our line work. We will talk about disassociate objects uh, in one second, but that's a very important button that we need to understand when we're running a CAD output. In regards to the line work that is being generated on screen, you may have a requirement to only output certain codes of your models and your strings rather than outputting everything in one go. And you can control that using the assign layers button found here. This form actually performs a couple of functions. It actually controls the line work that Civil Site Design draws when you're just simply creating strings with Civil Site Design and all the codes that you can see displayed here on the left hand side are drawn and displayed on screen and then drawn on a particular layer. Now any codes that you have which are not listed in here you can actually go in and add and build onto but by default any code which is not listed in here is just popped onto a layer called CSD-Auto. When it comes to the 2D output we can control, much in the same way we control with the display of the line work on screen, we can control the output. So in this example, I've actually unchecked the LDUM and the RDUM codes, so they are not being outputted with the line work um, of the 2D polylines of our model. You could be doing the same, for example, with the footpath codes, you may decide that you don't actually want those to be outputted as polylines. The layer style, which is this uh, down here, is controlling how the layer is created and how that object is drawn on that particular layer and you can control that via the layer styles button found here. We'll click on output and the software will generate for us 2D polylines and it's important to note for the contours that the elevation of the contour is transferred over to the polyline. It is still a 2D polyline meaning that polyline is at one single elevation all the way through. So if we review this contour here you can see here that that is actually a slightly different elevation matching the contour value. So you can always use the flatten command um, found in CAD to flatten the elevations of any of those polylines that you want. But you can see also that we have our line work here for our model which has been generated and all of that line work will be at an elevation of zero. Now if you want to remove the polylines um, that have been generated for the contours and the line work of the model, you can do this in one go using a function called Drawing Cleanup. This will go through the drawing and sweep out any of the 2D, 3D polyline line work for the model and the contours and any triangles you may have had displayed. So if you have copied these objects elsewhere into the drawing, and use them for drafting or some other purpose, they will be removed using this drawing cleanup. Now we've removed the objects from the screen, we'll have a look at how we can now output the 3D objects. So to do this, I'm gonna turn on the display of the triangles for my built model. To get started off, we'll head back to CAD output. We're gonna check on currently displayed triangles and we're gonna check on the currently displayed line work as 3D polylines. Now. Going back to what I was saying before about the objects being removed with the cleanup, if you use disassociate objects, the objects will no longer be associated to Civil Site Design and they will not be removed when a cleanup happens, which means you'll have to just simply use your CAD tools to remove them. We're going to output an XML surface at the same time of our built model here and just click on Output. You will be prompted if you want to view the folder where the XML file has just been created. We're going to just click on Yes. And you can see that the XML file is generated for us and it's found inside our data folder under the XML exchange files folder. We'll just close that down. You can also export an XML file directly from Surface Manager as well. If we go and have a quick look inside the drawing, we can see we've got 3D faces now for our surface model. And we've also got 3D polylines as opposed to 2D polylines of our model line work. If I had run disassociate objects, I would not be able to run cleanup, but because I did not check the disassociate objects, I can now run the cleanup tool to remove the line work from the drawing, leaving the original design information in the project.